What's going on guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to do a little bit of a video on the GFJ Easy Pro. I know there's hundreds and hundreds of videos out there of the GFJ, um, but I'm just going to kind of go through my the way things have been working for me. So I know a lot of people have different ways of doing things. I've seen people who sand the discs for a whole minute. I've seen people do it for 10 seconds, 5 seconds, stuff like that. So this is the way that works for me and the way I've been doing it. I have only, been, uh, have only had it for around about 4 or 5 days now, so I am still learning um, on the best way to do it. But the way I, this has been working for me at the moment is the way I'm just about to show you. Absolutely excellent machine. Uh, it's probably one of the best purchases purchases I've ever made in a very long time. So, um, yeah, we'll get on to that. So I currently have a game in the PlayStation and it is shown as no disc. Um, so the disc isn't working. So, let me just quickly show you what disc it is. So it's... Bit of an odd one, but apparently it's, well, by the looks of it, it's actually worth a little bit of money. Uh, it's Mary Kate and Ashley Sweet 16. Uh, let me just turn that off quickly. There we go. So, Mary Kate and Ashley Sweet 16 on the PlayStation 2. I'll show you the back. As you can see, it's very, very scratched up. I think someone was playing something with this for some reason because it's very very scratched and uh, try to get it in you can kind of see how bad it is maybe if we take you away from the light a bit hang on there so you can see how badly scratched that is so let's get it in the JFJ so the first thing that I'm going to do with this disc is just give it a light sand with the soft sandpaper um, that you get supplied. You do also get a coarse one, but I tend not to use that one as such. So I usually go with soft um, and 20 to 30 second blast, see how it gets on. So all you do is pop your disc up here. I've then got, um, it's basically just a bit of a like, glasses cleaner. I don't know why it's a focus on. There we go. Um, and what I do is I pop that around the disc before I put the, the nut on. Um, because I've noticed a few times when you just put this on, it does scratch up the ring. So I've uh, seen this hint off someone else. I can't remember who it was. So uh, I do apologize if it was someone that's watching. And then you just put your nut on over top. Just make sure that's nice and secure. And then plop it down, and I am going to do 20 seconds on this disc. It's not too loud either. Then I just have a little look and see. Oh, not even shown yet. Didn't have a little look just to see if I can see any of the deeper scratches underneath, uh, which I can't. There is has been a couple of times where I've seen some really deep scratches even under the the sand, and so I've gone again for another ten seconds and then polished up. Um, so let's get the the pads switched over and show you what I do next. So the first pad you want to go in with is your just normal white pad and then you've got one uh, which ends up going blue with the, the blue solution. As you can see I've used this one quite a lot. Um, I've only had this GFJ Easy Pro for about three days and I nearly already need a new a new buffing pad but it's really good. Um, I, I am really really happy with my purchase to be honest. So then what you want to do is get your number one solution, uh, number two solution sorry. Um, you do it the wrong way around basically mm -hmm. and you just want to squirt just a little bit just on the pad that might even be a bit too much 
and then what you want to do is just make sure that that goes underneath the disc when you do that and then I'll do a two minute interval with that one. Quite a lot of times with kind of lightly scratched discs um, and even some of the ones that are a little bit heavier scratch but then I haven't got like the deep scratches um, you would only need to do about two minutes on the solution number two so there is quite a lot of them where I've just literally used solution number two in the buffing pad haven't had to side it, haven't had to use solution number one so I mean as you can see on the pad itself I've not used that com as half as much as compared to what I've used with the other one so quite a lot of times it just you just kind of have to figure out which ones do need a little bit extra care this one did so what I'll do is I'm going to do a two minute blast with this one and I'll come back when that's done So that's that cycle now done so I'll pop that open and you're looking at it there it probably wouldn't need to go on the compound number one um, but I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video anyway uh, it just gives you that extra smooth finish so again just pop a little bit of solution just on the pad Got all over my finger, and then squeeze that down and go for a minute. So that minute's now up. So what I always do is always have a towel on my knee, um, just because I sit down while I do this. And then what I'll do is I'll get a spray bottle. It's just got some water in, and then just kind of spray off around the ring because there's normally quite a big buildup. And then just literally tap it on. And then I move it over to the microfiber cloth. So now, take it over the microfiber cloth. And what I'll do is I'll just rub the back because you do get a little bit of buildup just around this ring around here. Um, and what this does as well, it soaks up all the water that I've just sprayed on it. And then you're left with some residue in the back, so I'll get another one. And I'll just Give it a wipe, and that just wipes off any excess uh, solution that might be on there. Get a little around the edge as well, because again, it does build up. And now that's looking pretty much brand new. So I'll try and get that in the light, but you can see now. That there's no scratches on there. I mean, there's a cut that's just marks from where I've been rubbing. I'll probably go with that again. Mm -hmm. There is maybe like a little couple of scratches on there, but nothing made at all. So let's pop it on the PlayStation and see if that will work. My TV has just decided to shut off, so let's turn that back on. there and let's see if this works mm -hmm. it did do this before so There we go, it didn't get this far before, so that's a really good sign. So now this game is working. So unfortunately I don't have a PlayStation 2 controller or a memory card to test that out properly. Um, I am going to have to look out for one. I might trade some stuff into CEX and try and get one from there. But anyway, so that looks like it's working now. Um, it got much further than what it did before. <clears throat> As I say, I know there's hundreds and hundreds of videos uh, about the JFJ Easy Pro, but I thought I would just kind of go over the way that's been working for me um, and the way that I've been cleaning my discs as well. So I think that's it for this video. Um, we have got a live stream coming up on Saturday. So that'll be Saturday. Uh, I don't know what the date is today. Let me just double check. Saturday the 11th. <laughs> so Saturday the 11th at 8pm UK time. Um, me rummage around and I believe we've got James Collect coming on and maybe some other guests as well. So um if you're free come and tune into that 
Uh, it'll be a, a nice little chat. Um, we'll answer people's questions that people may have and just have a general chat about reselling and stuff like that as well. So I'll drop a link to um, Kieran Rummage Around's channel down below um, because he's the one who will be hosting it. So it'll be on his channel. So I'll drop a link down there. If you come and join us on Saturday night, 8 p.m., um, we'll love to have you there. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.